Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about CSS selectors. So CSS selectors in turn is divided into four types. Tag and ID, tag and attribute, tag and class, tag, class and attribute. So this we discussed in the last video as well. Now we'll see each of these with an example. Let's start with tag and ID. So if you remember, we started with Stack Overflow website. So we are going to continue the same example here as well. So this was the code we have written. We actually found the element email using ID locator, password using name locator, and then we saw a different example for class name. And we also saw tag name as well. Let me comment this tag name. And let's go back to Stack Overflow website where we enter email password and then we wanted to click on this login button now right so let's right click on this login button inspect this element login login is a button you can see here right so the highlighted part is the location of this login button now what we wanted to do we wanted to use tag and id so tag is button here and id is Remember, we need to take the value of ID. So submit button. Let's copy this. And button is our tag. So let's go back. Driver dot find element by dot CSS selector. Now we need to select the method called CSS selector. And then here we need to specify tag and ID. How are we going to specify two locators? Till now it was ID name only one locator, right? So we just, uh, you know, used by dot uh, that method name, the name of the locator. Now by dot CSS selector is fine. And now we are discussing about tag and ID. So we have two locator, different locators, tag and ID. So how are we going to write this two, two tag and ID, right? So button is my tag and we are going to delimit tag and ID using hash. So this, this is what we need to use as a delimiter between tag and ID. And what's the value of uh, ID? Submit button. This we copied, right? This gives us the location of login button. As this is button, we can just dot and use click method. So till here, the element or the button login has been located. And now we are performing some action called click on that button, right? So let's execute this and verify. And this time you can see it clicked on login and we are into the login page. So tag and ID work perfect. So let's go back and see the next one. Tag and attribute. We log in. And then what we'll do here is we have a search text box here, right? So let's actually search for some string here. I wanted to search for silly name. So before this, we wanted to identify this text box. So let's click on this mouse icon and then this is a cursor icon, sorry. So you'll hover on this text box and the highlighted part gives us the location of that text box. And now we wanted to use tag and attribute, right? So tag is input here and attribute, we can take any of the key value pair here, the highlighted part, but Remember, it has to uniquely identify that web element. So if you see here, if I take type equal to text, there could be other web elements which has the same type as text. So same is the case for other values as well. So you should not consider this value equal to selenium here. This will come uh, when we in give the input as something into the text box, okay? So input is a tag name and let's take this name name equal to Q. So mostly ID and name will be unique, but we don't know that mostly name and ID will be unique, but uh, if at all we have multiple elements matching with the with this name or ID, then we'll get an exception. So we'll see that. Now my tag is input and attribute I'm going to use name equal to Q. So the complete name equal to Q will be the attribute. So let's go back and what we'll do is, 
will try to locate this element search box right find element by dot css selector will be the same method and then we wanted to use tag tag is input and now we wanted to use tag and attribute so we need to provide this attribute in square braces so this is how we need to provide this is our tag and attribute we need to provide in the square brackets and we wanted to provide the attribute as name name is the attribute and value is q so just provide the value in single quotes that's all now find element it will be written in web element right so we wanted to enter some text into it so i am capturing this web element into some web element object web element object will be this is search box right so let me name it as search box now we have the web element search box now what we wanted to do we wanted to enter something into this search box so send keys we'll be using send keys and let's actually use selenium we'll input a string called selenium into the search box and then we wanted to press enter key so we'll use keys class dot enter is the key import this keys class okay it got imported automatically all right so what did we do here we actually used tag and attribute using the css selector locator and then we actually providing some input here right so let's execute this and verify now it has to log in and if you observe before even log in it actually searched for the string selenium in the search box as it was as the uh, you know this search test box was there even on the home page as well without even login if you observe it was there here as well so it actually in inputted uh, it actually provided the input into the search box even before the before uh, we log in into the page so now how do we handle this first of all what was the issue was so when we click on this login right so let me show you let me log out from this and now look here so we provide the input and if i click on login if you observe it takes some time right so okay just save human notification okay so it takes some time to login see when i click on this it takes some one to two seconds of time to log in but the code will be will run very fast that it it will not wait for that time so it clicks so this line gets executed and as soon as this line of code gets executed it actually executes this line as well as we have the matching uh, element on this web page so it actually finds this search box and also provides the input as selenium and it is in, uh, pressing enter there right so what we wanted to do here after clicking on the login button we wanted to wait for some time maybe one second or two seconds like that and for this we'll be using a class called thread and a method called sleep let's actually provide a sleep time of 2000 which actually wait so what happens with this is web driver clicks on the login button then it actually waits for two seconds so sleep is a method which takes a parameter uh, which in parameter time in milliseconds so i provided two two thousand so it will be two seconds so we'll uh, so web driver it executes this line and actually waits for two seconds and then it ac actually executes this line so that after login it will enter into the it will enter the input selenium into the search box so this is what we wanted to achieve and this is the uh, wait time right and we have wait selenium weights so like implicit weight explicit weight fluent weight so which we'll discuss in the coming videos but for now we can just use this thread dot slip method this is also fine right let me execute the program now if you see here now it has to 
enter the credentials click on login now you can see it waits for two seconds and now it should enter selenium see now it, this is correct this is as expected so whenever some action takes time so we need to add some wait time here so this is about tag and attribute right now let's see about tag and class the next one tag and class so for that what we'll do is okay we search for selenium string fine now what we'll do is we'll actually click on this three horizontal lines on the top right and then we'll click finally we'll click on this logout button so first we need to click on this three horizontal lines right on the top right so let's locate this element just right click on this click on inspect navigate this element and you can see here something got highlighted and we can actually take the if you see path is the tag and it has some some numbers in it right so that can change so what we'll do is we'll take the parent one parent of the tag so svg is the parent tag so we can take the tag as svg and we wanted to take class so class means the value of the class so let me copy this and tag will be svg so with this we can actually locate this three horizontal uh, lines on the top right so let's go back driver dot find element by dot css selector will be the method and we are going to use svg as the tag and now we, how are we going to delimit this tag and class so we are going to use dot for that so this is our tag and this whole part is the class value and we wanted to click on this so dot we'll use click method to click on that three horizontal lines on the top right right so what what the highlight what we need to concentrate here is so this is the tag and this is the value of the class and in between the delimiter we need to use is dot so we executed the code now it has to log in with the credentials and then search for selenium yes and then it should click on the three horizontal lines on the top right yes it clicked on it see it clicked on it that's all so this is all about tag and class right so tag and class is also done now the last one is a selector tag class and attribute so for this what we'll do is anyway we clicked on this now we have all these options we wanted to click on this logout you see logout here right so let's inspect that and click on that so the highlighted part here you can see it is an anchor tag so it's a link so we'll use tag as a and we wanted to use class tag class and attribute so class we can take this as a class and so th this we have to take this as the class value and the attribute we can take any of this so you can see here something called data gps track which might which seems uh, to be not unique so what we'll take is we'll directly take this href this is the link right so we can directly take this so right click select copy link address and then we'll use this as the attribute driver dot find element by dot css selector and now tag class and attribute so tag is a fine and then the order is tag class and attribute right so tag and class how do we write tag and class the delimiter is dot so we'll use dot and what's the class i already copied it sorry i copied the link that is fine a dot let's go back this is the class it has to be in double quotes as it's a string all right tag and class is done now we wanted to have attribute as well so the locator itself is tag class and attribute so sometimes you can't actually identify with uh, only tag and class so we can't identify the web element uniquely on the web page so that's the reason in such cases we can actually use tag class and attribute as well so we already had tag dot class now we need to provide the attribute and 
attribute we are going to provide href equal to this address so right click copy link address go back and copy it here this has to be in single quotes that's all so this is the tag let me put it here tag class and attribute <clears throat> this one was tag and class and then this one was tag and attribute and the first one we started with this tag and id all right so tag class and attribute a was the tag dot class is the value of the class is this and whatever the attribute we wanted to use we have put it in the square basis right so let's execute the program now it has to click on the three horizontal lines on the top right and then it will click on the logout button sorry logout link gets logged in such as for the string selenium yes and then should click on the right top right corner yes and it also should click on the logout button as well okay so if you observe we made a mistake we just located the element we forgot to actually perform the action on the element. So the action we need to perform is dot click. As that's a anchor tag, that's a link. So we need to click on that element, right? On that link. So we missed this part. So use the click method to perform the action on that link. So let me execute it again. It gets logged in and you can see it now. It's such as for the string selenium. Yes. And on the top right, it has to click on the three horizontal lines. It clicked on logout as well. See, we are into this page now. The final, uh, you know, confirmation of logout page. So when we click on this logout, we actually get this page, right? So we were successfully automate all these uh, user actions on this website, right? And during that process, if you observe, we actually covered all the four types of locators within the CSS selector. Tag and ID, tag and attribute, tag and class, tag class and attribute. So this is how we can actually use the CSS selector locator in Selenium. So in the next video, we'll discuss about other locators. Thanks for watching.